Hey, Alfie, we got a couple listener oh, questions yeah, we we've got to get to in the first segment. Let's Can you go ahead and put the first one on me? I'm sure will. This is from Eric in Swanee. Okay. And he writes Eric. it and saying, I'm looking to purchase a home, but it will take another 18 months for me to save up the 20% down. How much do you think prices will increase over this time? Wow. Uh, so, Eric, I'm just going to assume if you're looking in the Swanee area that you're probably looking at three three $350,000 price range. My guess is over the next year and a half, prices will probably appreciate 5% uh, in that area, maybe 6%. Uh, it's a good area, good price range. I'm assuming that that's your price range. And so, if you think about it, if you needed to save another 15000 in an order in order to have your 20% down, and you wait 18 months to do that, you've lost 15000 in appreciation. So I think with interest rates being so low right now, Eric, I would look at all options to see if you could do a first and a second, or you could do a small amount of private mortgage insurance that would go away when you get 20% equity in your house. Uh, but I think prices in Swanee will probably go up 6% in the next year and a half. Do we have another question, Alfie? We got time for yes, one. Yes, we actually this one's from out of the state of Georgia. Dor oh, yeah, Do yeah. Yeah, Doreen in Texas. Yes. Uh, she writes in and said, what is the percentage of the sales price typically spent on closing costs? Ah, so she must be, I would assume I Doreen guess moving. is a buyer. Yeah, look at me. And so she's looking to hopefully be prepared with the amount of costs that will be required to basically close her sale and her loan. And Doreen, that is a very, very difficult question to answer without knowing all the facts. But let's just take a typical loan, uh, a $300,000 purchase, a 10% down payment, a 90% loan, I would say that the closing cost on that loan would be somewhere between 2.5% and 3% of the purchase price. So it would be somewhere between $7,500 and $9,000. It really totally depends, Doreen. You can do an all-cash closing and have closing costs as little as 1% of the purchase price, sometimes even less. You can do an FHA or a VA closing and sometimes have closing costs, including your uh, prepaids and setting up your escrow accounts that would be somewhere in the 4 4.5%. So uh, if you're out there, 25 to 3% in the normal price range, but I think if you're across the board, if you'll budget somewhere around 3% for your closing costs, you should be safe.